If you're gonna go the comedy route, do the Jerry Seinfeld route, test the shit out of it. But how do you get the vernacular? And I think that's like any great, especially humor. Humor, like Jerry Seinfeld. I remember Jerry Seinfeld when he's building a new show. He will literally go to really small audiences, practice, and he invests six to nine months just getting the timing, the tonality, the texture of the ad just right. Because if you get it wrong, the ad falls on its face. That is your prediction break. That is, in essence, the keys to success when it comes to humor is the timing of the thing. Yeah. You might have the great content or the concept, but it's the delivery. And same with creative. You've got to get the delivery right because if you've got a great script but it's not executed well, it doesn't work. So for me, this had all the elements. It's the vibe of the thing. It, it, it had a scene that you could relate to. Yeah. It had humour that was great. It had timing. It was executed well. But, yeah, for, for me, it's that's why it is one of the great ads. It's a classic creative. If you're going to use humor too, this is a great example of using it well. It's real. Comedy is difficult because, like you just said, it's it's all based on timing. So nobody knows why comedy works. But we think the reason, the big thing is, it's exactly like you said, it's a prediction break. So the brain jolts whenever... Your brain lives in a prediction mode. Right now, you're not listening to us speak. You're imagining what we're about to say. And so long as we're even remotely close to that, you just get your prediction. That's the brain lives in its own little zone. Whenever you break the prediction, the brain has to zip into the present moment and determine what the heck just happened. It's a jarring sensation. It's a crazy sensation. And most people, you then you, you have to deal with it. Okay, do I shut it down? Do I run from it? Do I breathe deeply to get through it? Or do I laugh? And that's why in a lot of people, even at weddings or when something scares them, they'll just start laughing. It's a natural reaction to something that breaks your prediction. Comedy works by prediction breaking. Problem is, is when people know comedy is happening, they're always looking for that break. So when you're, when I'm at a comedy show, I'm just seeing, as soon as you tell me a line, I'm thinking, okay, how is he gonna twist it? How is this gonna move into a different direction? How is this, it's not what I'm thinking. So it's real hard to be funny because you still got to break predictions when people are waiting for it. In commercials, I can imagine it's even doubly hard in that you start a commercial, most people will have a prediction. So if you can break it with a joke, congratulations, you win. Problem is people have been doing that for 30 years. We're always looking for the prediction break in, in commercials. We're always waiting for it to change, to tweak, to do something unique. This one did it through language. It didn't do anything weird. There wasn't a car crash. There wasn't like a weird hat. There wasn't a silly dance that you're like, the hell just happened here. And it was such a subtle, unexpected, easy, stupidly simple joke that no one would have thought of before. But as soon as you hear it, you're like, classic, that, that's funny. Even if you don't laugh out loud, that's a re reaction. You go, damn, smart, smart move. So I just, if, if you're going to play with comedy, it's got to be smart. It's got to be subtle. It's got to be quick. And know that if you miss it, you're going to miss it by a, a long way. Yeah. You don't, you don't just kind of hit it. You're, yeah. you're either on or you're off. Cause comedy is really risky for me. Like whenever anyone, especially client wants to go down like a, a comedic route, yeah. I get really nervous. And especially if it's a big trusted brand, like for FMCG, you know, if it's a packet of chips or anything like that, it's for me, it really lends itself to, to low dollar value purchases, like that's usually where comedy plays, yep. do you know, but playing at something like a Telstra or a bank or something that's a big institution that feels like a big institution to, to get that lightheartedness that makes it really human in a way, that is actually the stroke of genius where you've got this big cold enterprise that, you know, potentially has some, you know, ill toward just in customer service and all the rest of it, do you know, but to get this real liking and sense of affinity with it through humor, but it's got to be delivered in the right way. And th th there is risk associated with it, but when it's well executed, it, it's a high risk, high reward game. And I think there's two, two points to be made. One, like you just said, if you're going to go the comedy route, do the Jerry Seinfeld route, test the shit out of it. Because if something's funny, it's going to be funny to 10 people. Yeah. As, as, so it's, it's easy enough. You get a group of people down, you show them 10 commercials that aren't yours, sneak yours into the middle, see the reaction. You'll know if it's funny or not. Yeah. Don't just show them your commercial. You got to get them in, in context, the right context. So test it, test it, test it. Do not, I always go back to that dang, um, what was the one where the stupid people are dancing? Oh, uh, Air Tasker. Air Tasker. I just, that was, man, if you'd have just tested that a couple of times, you'd have, you've gotten 10% of people to be like, that's hilarious. And 90% to say, 
Nah, nah. You get it. You can walk away from that one. And you'd have known, cool, scrap it, go in a different direction. So test it, test it, test it. And um, for me, the context is really important because the conversation, as soon as COVID and restrictions came down, yeah. we had a lot of conversations. What can we do? COVID ad, COVID ad, COVID ad. Whereas as soon as you turn your TV on during COVID and lockdown, every ad is a COVID ad. Whereas if you had a hard retail message or something else there, you actually stand out like no tomorrow. Whereas pre-COVID, you have a hard retail ad or anything else like that. That is kind of the norm. Yeah. So that's where you've really got to test in in situ environment where see how it's going to that is that is how it's going to be consumed not in your bubble of open up your email play it in solace and just review it in solace how is this going to look in a commercial break how is this going to look in your social feed it needs to be in context that consumers are going to interact with it 